you ask me any words you want to ask me about the slave, you know, back. And uh, I can remember. Well, ain't that about how old are you? Well, I don't know, Mrs. Hoffman. You don't know my age on the by the, the children tell me. Of course, my mom died, and she said she didn't know nothing about our age. But the children trace back from the slave up to now. Well, yeah. how old were you when you were? Well, I was about 13 years old at the breakup. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Can you I, remember slavery days very well? Of course, I remember all our white folks and all the names yeah. of them, all the children. Call every one of the children's names. Who, who did you belong to? Jim Brunton, the baby boy. Where was that? Where did you belong? That's out there in Hayes County. Y'all know. Mm -hmm. how, many, how, many of, how many slaves did he have? Well, he had my grandma and... Uh, and my ma, my ma was the cook. And grandma, you know, and then they worked in the field. And everything. I remember when she used to plow oxen. I plowed right? I plowed oxen myself. Is that right? I can plow and lay off a corn row as good as any man. Is that right? Oh, so can. Well, good shop. Pick cotton. I used to pick one. I've been here since I've been here. The hunter of them picked my five hundred pounds of cotton. Knock out 500 pounds. Knock out 500 pounds of cotton, then walk across the field and, and hunt watermelon, plum grinders, and such <laughs> that. Yeah. That's a lot of yeah. Yeah. Well, ain't had, do you remember church times? Do you yes, know? I remember church times. Uh, I remember did you remember slavery times? Yes, I remember how our, our folks, they had prayer meeting from one house to another. Uh, colored folks? Did yes. Uh -huh. I think it was some people. Yeah. You know, the houses, you know, would be in section on the house, and in different places they go, and we'd have family, more and more, and good family. And dances, too. And dances, too? Yeah, I've seen Paul and more dance many times. Is that right, doing slavery? Yeah, right? my grandma, too. My grandma was named Rachel Proctor. Rachel was, Proctor? Yeah, but she belonged to the Bunny. You know, Rachel Proctor, that's what she meant by her husband. You know. Now, in slavery time, that was my sister, my brother, was slave back. And all of them stayed with me in one. One of the girls, and she lives in San Antonio, Adelaide Taylor. Adelaide Taylor. And she was your sister? Yeah. She's in the young boy. Sister Ida, and she was the next. Brother George, and Sister Ida, and myself were slaves, and the others were born free, and all of them, we own the two slaves. Yeah. Well, I'll be glad. Did you go to meetings? Did you ever go to church? We'd anyway? go to Dick Cass, prior meetings, you know, we'd show to us in the corner, you know, we'd be having to cut up the Is that right? Yes, they cast the prior meetings. Yeah. Well, did you go to the white folks' church? Anyway? Yes, I went to Mountain City to the white folks' church many times. See, the white folks would have church in the morning, then they'd let the colored people have church at their church in the evening. That's during slavery time. In slavery time, yeah, huh. in slavery time. You know, it's like we get as well as it's Well, what would the preacher preach about in them days? I don't know. I didn't go. He didn't preach about, you know, slaves or something. He didn't preach like they do today. No, did. they wasn't educated, you know, and they all ways to tell you how to do and how to get along, you know, and how to treat the white people and so on. And they'd read the Bible them, you know, but whatever. Yeah, I remember all about in slavery time. Born and then used to go to dances. White folks. Well, did they treat, did the white folks treat you good? Did you? Uh, Out while the buttons? Uh -huh. They were good to us. They, they, know, they never hooked none of the colored people. Our colored never people. Did. They take their saddle high, all Miss Bunton's saddle horse, big grave animals. She'd have them ride. Grandma would ride to Mountain City to church. They had white preachers then. Yeah. Mr. Porter, he was one of the preachers that lived across from us. Well, would the white preachers tell you to behave yourselves and be... Oh, yes. Yeah. Be good to them. your master and Yes, that's what they preach. We, we didn't know it was in such thing. It's God, and the man of God, you know. We thought that was a, a different man, but he was our master. Uh, our white folks, you know, the preachers who were the white folks, master, and so on, that way. Read, that way. Yeah, I don't know better.
Um, <laughs> all, them, all of them would go up out of the church, you see. And after they come to be free, you know, they began to preach it, you know, they began to know, you know, there was a God, and so on. Well, well, while you all were slaves, did they teach you to read and write? Did you all go to school? And you? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. They didn't know nothing about reading and writing. All that I know, they teach you to mind your master and your missus. They sure didn't teach you to read and write. No, they didn't. You know, pick cotton, I remember picking cotton. Um, well, did you ever hear of any slaves being mistreated? Were there any tales going around? Like, oh, like the yes, I know times that mistreated people they did, and I hear our folks talking you know, about them hooping, you know, that they had to grease the back to take the clothes from the, the back. Good law, have mm -hmm. mercy. You know, my folks that way. But them buttons sure didn't allow their colored people to be whipped. And they halted, they saddle horses. Mrs. Button's saddle horse, more and poor and they wanted to go in the horse. They, they rode their horses in the saddle. Mountain City Church. Mm -hmm. These children stayed home. And from that on then, from one to another, they began to learn. Tom Kinchin and the monks they'd have prayer meeting, you know, from one house to the other. You know, I had a house, like there's a house sitting here in that section in line, you know, and people would come to prayer meeting. And in the uh, Sunday, in the evening, the white folks would let the preacher preach, let our folks go to their church preaching. Well, do you remember any of the songs they sang in those days at churches? No, I, I, if I had the books, I could remember them, look, look and see. Well, I know they sang songs. They sing the song, I We Born to Die. They sing that. We Born to Die. Mm -hmm. How'd that go, you know? That's fine, right, because Chicken and Cow, we get it. Now, a little louder. Yeah, yeah. Yes. How'd that go? Yeah. They sing, I We Born to Die. For Chicken and Cow, I We Get it. I was little, I was sitting back. I never went much. We children be stayed at home, parch corn. And play, you know. They tell me, Ma and Pa and them, Grandma would ride the horses and about three miles from our home, white folks' home, where they stay, and go to the white folks' there. And you hear them laugh and tell it all the time, you know. You didn't know anything about freedom and talk. Mm -hmm. There's three that that was me and my oldest, next oldest sister, and my brother George. He was, uh, they all did. All of them's dead, but just two of them. Well, uh, can you remember when the war was going on? Of course I can. I've sat on the fence at the time, me and Cousin Lou and Cousin Sally and all of us. Our yard had white picket fence around the road. went right along by our house like the road goes along by my house. We sat on that, stood on that picket fence all day long seeing them soldiers going back to San Antonio, different places. They had to put in their blow them bugles. Mm -hmm. And horses with wheels and dancing for just like that. What do you know? Colored soldiers. They colored soldiers. Poor right? colored soldiers in drove. That's mm -hmm. right along by our house. Our home is a two story house, a white folks home, you know. And we stayed on the home until we bought the homes over, over across the creek where we lived. Mm -hmm. and Them horses, they'd sing, you know, and them horses would dart and fall on their knees just like that. A lousy thing. Had them trained. Yeah, had them trained. Well, what about this girl you told me about there one day? Well, Matt Porter was the one that, that long Miss Porter, one of the, our white folks' neighbors. And she got her own ground off in molasses meal, feeding molasses meal. How was that? How do you mean feeding the molasses? Yeah, putting that cane in there, put the grind out to make the molasses. Oh, yeah, grind yeah. out the juice. Uh, huh? Yeah, juice. They had them wooden, of course, or things, you know, mash the cane with them. And they hitch a mule to it, wasn't it? Yes, it does. And he'd walk in a circle? Yes, yes, he'd walk in a circle. Kind of like a cane. Yes, 
have a leave or two, you know, and go round and round. Uh -huh. so, we've made molasses that way. I've made molasses myself. You have? Well, well now, this girl got her arm ground off in molasses. Yes, yeah, feeding the molasses meal. Yeah. That was in another neighborhood. Well, how place. old was she? Oh, she was a great big girl. She was about big enough feeding meal. Had it his own. I, I remember Dr. Manilev and and uh, Dr. Kavanaugh. I remember them. Well, when the soldiers came by, what, what, where was she? Who, Matt? Uh huh. She was on the other side. She lived the other side of us. She was uh -huh. living. She was living with our white people. But the road went right along by our white people's house. Uh -huh. I'd go right the day where I was born there. Right along by the house, they did all day for weeks at the time. Then soldiers were traveling going south to San Antonio. And all the things in the back. Oh, they had the pretty sauces and most of us all. Well, now, what, what did those girls, what did this girl, Matt, do? Matt told her? Uh huh. Well, she, she fed the meal. She well, I mean, though, when, when the soldiers came by. Why, well, she's on the fence side with us, looking at them. She lived right across from us, you know, and that was the road, and she'd come Well, I thought she went off with the soldiers. She did. She went off with the soldiers. The soldiers come along, we all sitting on the fence, and I stand at the fence, sitting, and a colored soldier come along and asked her, did she want to go with her? And she said, yes, she might as well one of them horses. Up know, behind him, huh? No, the horse to herself. Is that she right? Could ride. We could ride horses. We'd jump on them horses. Rattle sometime, ride sometime. We learned how to. I could stand flat footed on the ground, jump on the horse side. Is that right? Right, right. Yeah. Well, you were right. Yes, all of us, all of we all was raised to ride horses. Mm. Paul had horses of his own, chickens of his own. Well, now what happened to Mac Porter after she and that soldier? Ah, she went on with them. I never did see her in his telephone no more. Mm. She was going towards San Antonio. Going towards San Antonio. Yes. Well, why didn't she? Didn't even go tell her mama she was going or anything. She huh? didn't have any mother. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. And it's all that she'd already been free, had she? Yeah, yeah. That was the time the soldiers was going yeah, back, back, you know, after the freedom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she'd always come over to our house and stay with us and play around. Down the hall and that, that, that. Well, can you remember the times right after the after the big breakup very well? Remember, were times pretty hard then? Yes, times hard. We wake then. Our white folks wasn't mean to say colored people. It was a different one. There's seven brothers of them. Old Shea Brahim, John Brahim, Bob Brahim. We had one more Brahim that was in Kentucky Joe, so on. Old fast living. Seven brothers of them, I know. Some of them lived at Cedar Creek. Well, what did y'all do after the big breakup? Did y'all leave the place? No, we that? stayed on the place and rented on the half. Oh, rented on the half. Yes. That's what I want oh, to say. All our white folks was dead. And the uh, old sea was old uh, Breedlove. I, Tom, I Breedlove. I Breedlove. Yes, at Mountain City. Mm -hmm. That's our old, old sea over the place, you know. And y'all rented on the halves. Rented on the halves, too. We bought our home across the creek. Oh, you bought your home. About yeah. how long after the big breakup did y'all buy oh, your home? Oh, I didn't buy. We didn't buy. Paul bought the home from old Riley across the creek, and we stayed down there. And I used to stay with Aunt Rose and Uncle George. They was old folks, had no children, you know. They used to get me to come and stay with them. And when I married, they give me a home on the place. Well, were they white folks? No, colored people. Oh, colored people. Well, how old were you when you married? I don't know. 17, 18 years old. Man. Maybe that old. I didn't know my age. Mom, they didn't know. Who did you marry? J. 
Jim Smith. Jim Smith. Had he been a uh, he had he been a uh, slave? Oh, he had. He was a slave. Master of breakup. They sent him. He come from Black Hill and bought a home over across the creek while we bought a home, John and our home. His father and mother did, you know. Uh, well, he he had been freed then, I guess, the uh, uh, same time you had. Oh, yes, yes. They lived at Blanco. They bought them a home over in the colony. Rowley had sold the colored people all the homes there. I don't know. Who was Riley? A white man named Riley lived right down the hill from us. They sold Pete Beard a home. Paul home, or the David home, all, all of them. Just well, I'm home. glad. Uh, that was right after the big breakup, was it? Or? About two, three years after the breakup. Huh, and you just had a colony of... Uh, yes, all of that colony. While, we, while I come from, it got homes out there. That Buta, they called it now. It wasn't nothing but woods when we bought it. And they call it Buta now? Yes. Oh, well, I know where Buta is yeah, out there. Yeah. Did you know Mr. Talley in those days? I think I did know Mr. Talley. Huh. Um, what was he? He was a deputy sheriff there for a while. Yeah. Yeah. He was a nice fine man, too. Yeah. Sure is. And you remember, can you remember churches very well, Aunt Harriet? Were you a church goer? No. We used children then when slavery time. My mother and father, I can remember when they went to church. Uh -huh. Our wife would sit right go to church in the morning, you know. Mm -hmm. And they'd go in the evening, my grandma, to the White Folks Church. Mm -hmm. And my would ride their horses. Well, now, what do you, when did you start going to church? Oh, yeah, I never started going to church. We never had any church. So, much after I married. Well, and you started going, didn't you? Yeah. After you got married? Sure. Well, going. who who did you how'd you marry? Did you have a preacher to marry you? Of course, a white fish married us. You did, Mm-hmm. White fish married all of us girls. Yeah. Well, I didn't have preach as much when I married. Well, who did you uh uh when did you first start going to church then? Well, we'd go to church then. Like we had church before. before like, you know, preachers didn't know nothing, you know, on what they hear much. Was he a traveling preacher or yes. was he just he yes. a colored preacher? Yes, wasn't yes. just traveling, you know, and stopping and preach. Elder Haywood and Goins, and so that's our preacher's name. Well, what would you preach about? Can you remember? Well, they just preached that we had a God and a soul to be saved and so on. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Did the preach good as preachers preach today? Oh, no. no. They didn't know nothing. They didn't know to read the Bible sometimes in places they could read. But no, they were preach wasn't educated at all. They weren't, huh? No. On Some spell. of them couldn't read and write at all. No. They mm -hmm. spelled letters and so on. They read and write at all. Yes, some of them couldn't read and write at all, just on the priest, what they heard others say, you know. And some of them, after getting older and wiser, you know. They well, what about them. the songs that they sang? That's what I'm interested mm -hmm. in. I didn't go much on the song, them songs. Them, the well, did they sing these old 100s? You know what an old 100 uh -huh. is? Well, these old time songs. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Where they line off one, you know, mm -hmm. must Jesus bear the cross alone, and yeah. all the world go free. You yeah. heard that? Happen. Yeah, yeah, that's the wind blowing. I think mm -hmm. what he's speaking to do out there, being treated by him. Yeah, yeah, he's singing song. Well, I had the old old time books, hymn books. I did. Well, where would you get those books? They had them sell them. Ma and uh, uh, Grandma and them bought them, you know. Mm -hmm. and my husband bought he put them in book. Was your husband Henry Smith uh, much of a... Jim Smith? Uh, oh, Jim Smith. Mm -hmm. 
Was he a church man? Yes, he was. What happened church man, then? church man, a politic man, too. Oh, they were. Y'all voted in those days. Yes, my husband was there. He was known by white folks. Well, so when he got killed, the white folks were just crazy about him. They come to the funeral. That boy that killed my husband, I nursed him when he was a baby. How come he killed you, husband? Well, he just mean. Just mean, you know, and he they didn't like people up to date, you know. And of course, it was just 13 months in the different my husband killed his brother. Stole the Killed your husband's brother? Mm -hmm. He'd been to church. I think he went to gym that night to carry bail of cotton. And this Walter Byers sat down on the seat and hold the fast living and sitting down talking. And when the time to come his cotton, they killed him and they killed my brother, my husband on the way from Cedarbury. I can go right to the spot now and you know, why he was killed there. Shot him or shot him. Shot him on the way from Cedar. See, we have a cedar break at home. That's mm -hmm. the old home. Mm -hmm. That's a, I'm on his way from the cedar break. Mm -hmm. Well, what kind of politicking did he do? Well, he worked for white white people when they want to be elected, you know, and you say that kind. Of, He'd work amongst the colored amongst folks. Amongst the colored people. And speak to white folks. You couldn't get in the house when he spoke hardly for white people. All that section there. He had a good line. Uh, all of them boys did. And he'd round up the votes, and that's how come them to kill him. Mm -hmm. He'd right? round when he set the night for the street. People from Austin, from St. Michael, from every which way, white and colored, to hear him speak. He'd go to the courthouse and speak for him. Well, he, uh, did the colored folks not like him? No, the colored people all went to him. These white people, this boy that killed him, who walked by. I nursed him when he was a baby before I was ever acquainted with my husband. Well, what I was, what I'm trying to, to find out is, how come him to kill your husband? Was it over politics? Oh, well, politics and different things, you know. Poor white people. Did the white folks have your husband killed, or did uh, did he just walk by or just go shoot? No, him my husband went to see the break that day, and uh, and he, on his way back from the see the break, uh, he laid away the road and killed him. I don't know how that is done, but the white people, Walter Cries, and them was the first one got to him when he was killed. They had the shooting, you know. And they brought the news to us. My brother and them. What they do to Walter Biles? Well, you know how that was. He lived up in there, you know. They would tell any kind of tale. They didn't do nothing with him. Had him up, put him in jail by the way. But his brother-in-law killed him. Is that right? Sure. There must have been a shooting a lot of folk up there that mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. people, poor people, you know. Rich white people don't bother nobody. Or oh, poor white folks. Yes, it was poor. And they come out. And his brother-in-law, Sid Lawson, killed him. Sid, his father, moved away. Had a good home over there. And they moved away. Said they'd steal his life just like they stole Bud and Jim. So. And his boy's life, so he left and went to Oklahoma. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, his brother-in-law killed him. He rolled up the fence that morning to kill his brother-in-law. And his brother-in-law shot him instead? Yes, his mother tried to keep him from killing him, but he just said, I ain't going to let him kill me like he did Uncle Jim. You know, with him and my boys all raised together. You all must have all been kin folks in those days. Good. Well, all of you seem to have been quite Walter old. Biles and all. No, they was white people. Oh, Walter poor, Biles was what, white man? Oh, poor white person. I know, I can go right to this place now. Why, he was born. Oh, I didn't know he was a white man. Yes, he was. Well, why do you reckon he wanted to shoot your... Yes, that's because he didn't like him. Because our boys as well learned and they did have speaking, you know, at the schoolhouse, you know, for white folks that want to run for office or something. And so... Quit, Hallie. Did you raise many, uh, did white folks, uh, poor white trash and the colored 
folks have many fights back in the after the big breakup? Have many run-ins? No, we never had nothing to run into. <laughs> but wagging. Well, I mean, did they have many, uh, you know, quarrels and uh, fusses? No, no, they didn't have these white these boys that they killed our white our, our boys. My husband, and his brother, was poor white people. They didn't like. And let me see how that did come up. I done forgot dying in all about that. I know my husband was on his way from the Cedarbury. Mm -hmm. Well, did the white folks meddle, did the poor white trash meddle much with the colored girls in those no, days? Not all right at all. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they did it out of the place. Well, I, did. I didn't mean to your home. I mean around those. Did you hear of any, anything like that going on in those days? Well, the girls, we didn't run. She had different classes, you know. Girls, uh -huh. run, colored girls run the white boys, and white boys a couple of boys at night, but we didn't associate. Well, did much of that go on in those days? It's very little of it. It's going on more now than it did in my raising up days. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I, I think there's a lot of it going on. Yes, they, 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 we didn't go with it. They didn't associate with their kind. No, it's going on more now than it did in my race. Mm -hmm. my, my sister race. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. that little John Jr. across the street from you looks, he's got almost blonde hair. Yeah. His hair is white. Mm -hmm. His mama, yes, his, his mama, Miss Fanny, is his grandma. Mm -hmm. yeah. Miss Fanny's son, Pete Morris, is, is, is his father, her oldest son. Well, her name Belle, though. I don't care. Her name is, her name is Fanny Bell, but she married a Bell. But Bell wasn't East Children's father. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Morris was East Children's father. Well, now, who was your second husband, ain't Harry? Who was my second husband? Let me see, who was my second husband? Who you married, married again after uh, uh, your, what's Old his name, man. Smith? Old man, uh, oh, I married Bolson Sard was my second husband. Bolson Sard? Yeah. And, uh, How long did you live with him? Mm, about a year, I guess, two years. He, he had a good Ely engine blood in him. He did? Mm-hmm. He, he, and then my next husband was old man. Well, now, what happened to Bolton Sard? He died or did you divorce him? He, he wouldn't sign the divorce, but I got my divorce from him just the same. You did? He, he, no, he, didn't. He, he lived a long time after, after me and him married. Well, after, after you separated from him, who did you marry? Old Man Purcell. What's his name? Old Man Purcell. Uh, how old was he? Oh, he's a lady, but he's older than I was. Yeah, that was his second wife that he married. Well, I, didn't y'all have trouble? Didn't you and he have a little trouble? Who? You and old man Purcell. Didn't he kind of cut up and carry on? Yes. He cut up and carry on. I quit him. Come on back home. Mm -hmm. Did that daddy get you at divorce? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. What was the matter well, with him? Old man Purcell was all right, his wife, but his son, that's why we had so with Arthur. He come to command the place, you know, tried to put me on the place. He couldn't do it. I stayed down as long as I wanted, and I got ready. I come on home. And then who did you marry? Uh, let me see, who was the last man I married? Old man Coco here. Old man Coco. Mm -hmm. Well, then you and he, didn't he try to whip you one time? Mm -hmm. He couldn't whoop me. Speak a little louder, ain't there? No, he couldn't whoop me. He tried, but he couldn't. I put and what, him what'd you do to him? <laughs> put him out of the door. <laughs> you did? Well, he was about 100 years old, wasn't he, at that mm -hmm. time? I don't know how old he was. He was in the Army. In the Civil War? Yes. He fought in the... Yes, he in fought the... in the Civil War. Mm -hmm. 
And you married him in 1930s, didn't you? Mm -hmm. yes. Well, see, I'd make him, I'd make him close to 100 anyhow. Yes, but you see, you know, the other part is between him, me and him, that's what caused our trouble. Is that right? Yeah. Is this effort, effort over here? Was he running? Was he chasing girls over yes. here? He was. Yes. He just could yeah. hobble around. He could hobble around. They was chasing him for his money, you know. Oh, I see. He got, uh, see, he got, he, uh, when he quit the uh, arm, got old, you know, he got his his money mm -hmm. from the army. Well, the girls uh, uh, must have made a fool out of him. Yes, he did. He got his money, all his money. He got $60 or $70 a month, every month. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, do you still go to church in Harry? Yes, I go to church all the time in there. I was church up to Methodist Church up down oh, there at St. Annie. Uh, Annie. Saint Annie. Yes, I joined that church after I come here. We built that church. We built that church. Uh, who's your preacher up there? I have never met him. No. This, this we got a new preacher, you know. Uh -huh. I forget his name. Me and Julius belongs to that church up there. Is he a good preacher? I know that. I have to do what sort of preacher he is. The Sunday I was preparing to go to the church, some of the folks from St. Margaret's come, and I didn't go. Well, what do you think about Reverend Reese as a preacher? Well, Reverend Reese, he's a uh, good Reverend Reese is Miss Fanny's preacher. Mm -hmm. No, but friend of Will yeah, Baptist. Yeah, friend of Baptist. He's just a good friend of mine. I just wonder yes, how you like him. Yes, he's good for him. I like him fine. He's been to my house. He has, yeah. yeah. Well, he yeah. thinks a lot of you, too. Yes, he's been to my house. I like him fine. Hey, Eric, what, how has times changed since you uh, came to Austin? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. Times changed. We've had churches, different things. Did you ever think you'd live to see the automobile? No. I never did think I'd ever live to see the automobile. <laughs> I heard talk of them. I heard my husband talk. Um, he went north with a herd of bees for some white folks, and he seen him like that. Is that right? He was a cowboy. Well, which husband was that? That's Jim Smith, my first husband, all Jim. these children's father. Oh, he saw he saw automobiles then when he went up with yeah, the herd of cattle. Yes, and he'd come by and say, I saw these airplanes and things. Is that right? And came back and told you about yeah, it? Yes, we didn't know what it was. Well, well all, he was killed before the turn of the century, before 1900, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Nineteen hundred and one. Nineteen hundred and one. But he had been up north with a herd of bees, you know, for cattle. For Who did he work for? Well, he worked for different people. Wait, we worked for ourselves, then we bought a home of our own. Mm -hmm. Yes, you you plowed in the field, had you? and chop cotton. I could drop corn this place. I walk that way. Grandma, too. Yeah. Plow oxen. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the name of your oxen, do you remember? Oh, I've got them. one of them named Jerry and the other named Broad. And name what? Broad. Jerry and Broad. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you pop them hooks and them oxen and go around there and plow. Yes, I, I don't know if my children. Overseen in Oxford. Hmm. 